theorizing that one could time travel within his own lifetime, Dr. Sam Beckett stepped into the Quantum Leap Accelerator and vanished. He awoke to find himself trapped in the past, facing mirror images that were not his own, and driven by an unknown force to change history for the better. His only guide on this journey is Al, an observer from his own time, who appears in the form of a hologram that only Sam can see and hear. And so Dr. Beckett finds himself leaping from life to life, striving to put right what once went wrong, and hoping each time that his next leap will be the leap home. Moses went to the mountain, and God spoke unto him. Moses, this is the Lord thy God, commanding you to obey my law. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you, I hear you. A deaf man could hear you. Brain, my density has brought me to you. What? Oh. What I meant to say was... Wait a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? Yes. Yes. I'm George. George McFly. I'm your density. I mean... Your destiny. Don't listen to that guy. He's trying to lead you down the path of righteousness. I'm gonna lead you down the path that rocks. Will you take a look at that? Pretty pathetic, huh? We're gonna die! We're gonna die! I'm going to throw up, and then I'm gonna die! Strickland. Jesus, didn't that guy ever have hair? Not that stupid hip-hop stuff again. Damn it, George, when are you gonna do something with your life? I got a dream. What is your dream? To have a dream. Somebody sat on me again. I just wanted to say that you're all winners. And... I could not be happier that this school year is ending. What a bunch of losers. Mindless zombies capitulating to an oppressive system. Hi. Want to dance? Absolutely. You know, I was going to let you become part of my most erotic fantasies, but now you can just forget that. Write it off. Maybe I'm just new to this whole rescuing thing, but this, to me, might be considered kind of a step backwards, wouldn't you say? Let's match the power of Lord Voldemort, heir of Salazar Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter. Oh, cut the crap! Bring on the meat! Okay, that was the freakiest thing I've ever seen.